Hey everyone, James with TFB TV. SHOT Show 2020 coverage rolls on. We're at the SIG booth, and I always say booth, like booth makes it sound like it's a cubicle or something. Like this thing is literally this bigger is than booth. my house. <laughs> it's just like at NRAM, just like at SHOT Show. You guys stun on everybody. So we've got like this fancy little conference room back here. That's nice, here. right? This I took nice. John Hollister over there by the uh, the rocks. When oh, we did the, our the hunting brain. area. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> but I'm here with Phil. You guys know Phil, uh, a very important guy with SIG, we'll say. And he uh, knows his stuff. So I wanted to get Phil to tell us and to tell you guys about the new P210 carry. What do we have? Well, what we have is one of the most requested, asked about guns out there. So to rewind, about two years ago when we came out with the 210 Target, the US made one, uh, everyone's question was, how much is it? And then we blew them away with that. And then the next one was, when are you gonna make it in the carry version? And we got that every year at SHOT Show. That was a slow launch. That was a slow to launch gun. It took us a while to get it out in the market. Showed it again, same questions. So. Because of our, we, we listen to our, our users, we listen to our, our audience, and this is the result. So this is the 210 carry. It is an aluminum framed 210, and it has all the features that 210s have. It's single action, you know, it's a single action pistol. It has 210 accuracy. This is what this gun is known for. Since 1949, it's been hailed as one of the most accurate production firearms out there. So why not make it in a carry version? We actually cut the five inch slide down to a four inch slide. So we've got a four inch, about actually a 4.1 inch slide, but mm -hmm. we also added front and rear serrations. You gotta make it like a carry type sure. pistol, right? right? We took away the adjustable target sights and added SIG light sights on this one. And of course, uh, the target grips, the big wood target grips, which are great for target shooting, were Not replaced. Not necessarily for carry, yeah. No, it's a little big, but we replaced them with uh, these slimline G10 grips. Now, these are very; these are the same contour that you're going to see when this gun launches, and that's going to well, this gun is technically launching today, I guess. But when this gun is being seen in stores, it's probably going to be around June of this year. These grips will actually be textured; they will be they have the same texture on the back as they will. They'll have it on the sides here as well. Now, these were just hey, we need grips. We want it to look good, but we got to get it out here in the show and let people see it. And this was the result. So they are a little slick, and we did get that feedback on the range, but. They will be still G10 and they will be textured. Now it comes with two eight round single stack magazines just like the, the Target model, but what you don't lose is the trigger. Mm -hmm. The 210s have a very characteristically great trigger and the accuracy on this gun is, well it's bananas. I was, I was shooting 100 yard targets with it. On sure, range and day. for those of you who aren't familiar with the 210, again, as Phil has said, it's known for its accuracy, renowned for being one of the most accurate pistols and, and loved for it. Yes. So there's a lot to unpack with what you just told us. Now, again, those of you who may not be familiar with the P210, the 210 has a steel frame in I think every other variant. I mean, it's never been made in anything but a steel frame. Correct. Of course, that's going to add weight and be somewhat miserable to carry. So you guys at, did it with aluminum this time. That's correct. Yep. Do we know what the weight is? Uh, the weight is around 30 ounces. Okay. Um, as opposed to uh, a much heavier, I think 38 ounces. 30. It's, we lost about you know about almost a half, a half pound. a pound. Yeah, yep. that's pretty good. And yeah. of course, the slide's a little lighter because it's shorter. It typically, was a five-inch slide. Took an inch off that. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I I can't tell you how good it shoots. Uh, obviously, you have to go out there and. and do it yourself and find and out. This might appeal to 1911 guys who aren't 1911 guys. You know what I mean? Like right. who want a single action trigger, like an excellent single action only trigger, uh, because this is a single action only. Correct. Uh, but they want to be able to carry it cocked and locked. Right. So that's who we're appealing to. We're appealing to, I don't want to call them boutique 1911 carriers, but you know, this is a, this is going to be a $1,300 gun. So that's a, a, I wouldn't say upper level of 1911s, but it's a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent 1911. Ours are similarly priced especially for some of our versions but we're not only appealing to the 1911 crowd although we want to we're also appealing to this is a cult this is a cult following these people mm. people who love the 210 they love it it is not right. just oh yeah i love my 210 i like it it's nice i go orange no it is everything is 210 oh this, this shoots good but not as good as my 210 and there's a lot of people out there and sure. we can't build we still cannot build them fast enough for the demand so we knew that there were going to be some very, very dedicated customers out there who love that platform and who have been asking for this for, gosh, two years. But you're also right. There's a lot of people out there who 
like their 1911s, they like to carry single action, and they're completely confident in it. And this appeals to all of those crowds, and I think it's going to do really well. I, I really think that people are going to identify with it, and I think when they get it on the range and see how well it shoots, uh, as far as the trigger and the accuracy, I think it's going to be an easy sell. Yeah, I think so too. And it's obviously a very well thought out design. I mean, you guys did everything that one might want to do to make a gun like the 210, you know, which is like a large, relatively heavy gun, to make it carryable. Carryable. Is. is that a word? Did I just make that up? Carryable. Yeah, yeah. I've I been using uh, co witnessable a lot. <laughs> co co witnessable. Yes. Phil, thanks a ton for having us My here pleasure. at SIG. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2020. Perfect. That was Sweet. great.